Fire. Hey guys, Plotown Hockey here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into the Thieves Guild. Uh, I know this game is really glitched in this uh, specific quest. Uh, most people aren't able to actually get into the Thieves Guild because uh, this one guy stands at his counter and he never moves. However, this video will be showing you how to get past that. Um, as I said before, it's a huge glitch in the game. They definitely need to fix it. But in the meantime, this is how you get past this glitch and you will be able to join the Thieves Guild uh, even if it's messing up for you right now. Um, I spent two days of my life trying to figure this out so yeah that kinda sucked made me really frustrated and I hope this helps you guys out if it does make sure to give it a like and subscribe at the end of this video uh, but first things first normally you go over to this guy right here and he's like oh meet me in the ragged flagon and you go there and he never shows up but this all happened because the very first quest you're supposed to come over here and steal a ring and place it in someone's pocket. Um, this first quest I failed and many of, of my friends failed it too. Uh, but you're supposed to take the ring and place it in this guy's pocket. And I would messed up and when I redid it, uh, as you can see the ring's in his pocket right now and still nothing happens. And it kind of sucked because now you couldn't join the Thieves Guild. However, to get past this... Um, what you want to do is you want to make him angry at you so you have to shoot him or stab him or something and make him mad and make him chase you once he starts to chase you bring him over this way across the bridge make sure he follows you all the way over here and all the way down here and I did this earlier and as you can tell there's uh, dead guards everywhere he had killed them all cause that's how long it took me to do it um, but yeah, once you lead him down here, you want to lead him into the front of this uh, doorway that leads to the rat way. And this is the spot where you take your very first step towards completing this. Once you, you stand right here, and right here, and make him charge at you. Once he charges at you and starts hitting you, all you have to do is just go around him uh, like this and shoot him and kill him on spot. When he, he'll never die no matter how much damage you do to him. So once he goes on one knee and starts crawling away, come around this corner and crouch, and make sure to put away your weapons. Once your weapons are put away, and he gets up from his crawling, you want to walk up to him, and he'll be all, all calm and nice. Uh, here's an example, because I did this earlier. Put away your weapons, he's right there, and now he's all nice, although he was raging a second ago. So you want to talk to him, make sure he's okay, and the Riften guards aren't attacking, so you don't have to worry about them anymore. And make sure, this is very important, save the game right here. Save it as a new file, so you'll have a copy um, to go back to just in case you mess this up. Now you want to have the Shout Unrelenting Force selected. Uh, so just run him into the door, keep running at him uh, using the sprint button, and he'll stagger backwards. Right when he's against the doorway like this, you want to look at the door, open up the door, and then shout. So again, if you need to rewind that just to see it in slow motion, you open up the door right when he's against it, and then use unrelenting force, the shout. You can get that through the main quest in the story. And as you can see, he finally popped through that door. Um, and he he's mad at you because you used a shout on him. Uh, don't worry about that. That's actually part of this procedure. Just let him be mad at you and let him follow you all the way through this tunnel. I just got a shield out. I don't know what I was doing here. But... This is the only way that I can figure out how to actually get him through that doorway. Uh, it's the only way that works and it helps you pass this part. So run him all the way over here and if you want to you can play Ring Around the Rosie like I did and just screw with him. I don't know why I did this but yeah. 
All right, now you, what you want to do in this room, you want to kill him. But again, as I said, he he never dies. So if you want to improve your destruction or one-handed or two-handed weapons, you want to kill him on spot as many times as you can, so he'll never die. And as you can see, he's crawling. So you crouch and go to the corner that I'm at. Just go anywhere and crouch and put away your weapons. Make sure they're away. And now that he's up again, kind of slowly go towards him and talk to him. And now he's all calm again. The walls have ears. And he's still talking like normal. He'll ask you about stuff. But now he's trying to leave the area that you just brought him into. Don't let him do that. Keep running at him. Just sprint at him. And make him stagger backwards. All the way down to the doorway of the ragged flagon. And... This could get repetitive, so make sure you do this as quickly as possible so you don't have to wait forever to actually get it done. It is pretty difficult because he's constantly moving, and some of the sprints don't actually like hit him or don't work. So just keep ramming him down the stairs until he actually goes to the bottom. Yeah, this it takes a while. And I didn't want to fast forward because I just want to show you guys the actual footage of it on how to do it. Anyways, I want to cut to this part right here. Once you finally get them to a, an appropriate spot, again, you want to save it as a new file or new save. Um, and then I tried to get them through that doorway, but I failed right there. But just reload that save if you ever mess up. And you will probably like two or three times. But if you do, just reload that save. And you want to do the same technique as you did to get him through the first doorway. You want to have unrelenting force selected. Ram him against the doorway. Now open up the door and shout. And as you can tell, I kind of did it in opposite order there. It really doesn't matter. You can shout and then open up the door or you can just open up the door and then shout but make sure he's against the doorway when you do it now here this is very important do not go any farther once you step into the the rag and flagon you want to crouch um and go to your left and kill him on spot if you don't do this it'll mess up the entire thing and you'll have to redo it from the last save uh make sure he goes to one knee and he starts chilling there and go and crouch and hide behind this corner. And again, make sure you put away your weapons. If you don't do this, all the thieves within this area will start attacking you. And you'll definitely die. Unless you just run away. And now that your weapons are away and you crouched, once he gets back up, he'll be all nice again. But he'll try leaving. So this is where you have to go and block him off really quick. Just run at him. Keep ramming him. And he should back up. Now that he's in the Rag and Flagon, you will be able to join the Thieves Guild, and you are complete with this tutorial. Uh, save the game right here, just to make sure you, you got him in there, just in case he tries escaping anytime later. As you can tell, I talked to him, and he actually is going on with the quest that he, he was supposed to do. And this concludes how do you get past this major glitch in the game. And how you join the Thieves Guild. Uh, all the other quests are normal. He won't mess up again, I hope. There's not any other mess ups with the Thieves Guild that I know of. But if he does, leave some in the comment section below. And I'll figure out a way to get past that. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you, he, you can leave the Ragged Flagon now. So don't worry about like trapping him in there or anything like that. Because now that you've already met him in there, everything else has been reset to the normal game. And it won't mess up throughout the storyline. Um, I just keep going through it and I talk to him. Uh, make sure you save it in here, so just in case something happens. Uh, and again, if you like the video, if you're, if you're happy that you finally f found a, a source that helps you get past this glitch, um, again, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here.
get going. I'll be here when you're done. <laughs> 